You what? Get up. Can I make that even better though? Um, I actually, I've got a Mega Drive 1 unit with the Mega CD. Oh, bollocks. I get a feeling I'm not going to do well here. Um, sitting right down there. Horrible feeling that he's just going to give one more punch. Oh God! Play Green Dog for years. Ah, oh, come on! I'm going to do the whole thing again. I think I'll be skipping this. Come on. Then. I believe I died. I'm just gonna high speed this fight this time now. I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing. I got too many to list. Stay still, man. Ah. Feet to face. Do you know what? I've got the Xbox One actually sitting there. And while it's it's worth using, I'm not a fan of it. Um I do like the games, I do like the the, the gear that it brings. Uh but in reality, it's menus on menus. I made a comment about it in my Bloodborne videos. Um, it's literally there's a menu for everything to get to their menus. You go through a menu and then to get through that menu, you go through another menu. And I can't remember where he jumped to. There it goes. Nope. It's not that I don't like the console. I do. 
A killer instinct's awesome. I'd just do nothing but laugh playing that. Good evening, uh, Cameron Zo. It is. The GameCube remake was good, but it was done with the Metal Gear Solid 2 engine, so it was kind of... I don't know. Yes, Windows 8, I know. Come on, where are you? Oh, box. Yeah. But again, the free cast hater in Metal Gear Solid 5, and I just. I can't. I can't deal with that. In the end, that's like having a Terminator film with Arnold Schwartz, uh, without Arnold Schwarzenegger. It just doesn't work. Oh, I love my PC. But the game and... Get on a PC, I much, much prefer, like, online multiplayers, you know, keyboard, mouse, things like, uh, Counter-Strike and things. Wait, screw that. I'm gonna back off now. Get up. Pow, pow. Yeah, been in here. That was just a complete hideous idea. Um, I got quite a Steam collection. Give us a second, actually, while I'm sitting with the PC up here. 502 games, and it's a Capcom publisher weekend. mind playing as Raiden on Metal Gear Solid 2 because I mean, you did play Snake at the start but it was a really really nice kind of twist and it played well the game was good and you did have Snake as a major integral part of it but you look at the likes of swapping out the actress is a problem Right, well, while we've got this running, I'm going to take a quick pee break. I'll be back in two minutes. Soldiers were born from those experiments. The 
That's the sickest thing I ever heard. We used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Uh, I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. And I'm back. Are you one of them? Hello there, FX. Um. Oh, Mel Gear a Resident Evil. Come on, get out. Oh, there's no. There's no in between. You can't. They're two of the best games on the PlayStation. You go Resident Evil Two, Resident Evil Two, just hands down. But it's a really hard one. You know me? I would love to see them remake Resident Evil 2, but they're never going to do it. So you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Uh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Ah, oh, it's it's where his face goes all skeleton-y, and then it, it goes weird, and he suddenly eeks. That does that. Creeps me out some chronic. It always has done. They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the I see Resident Evil change through its actual stylings and its its fan base. You've got a lot of people who prefer the earlier ones, whereas I heard it directly from your boss. Yeah. Um Sorry, you've got the people who prefer the earlier Resident Evil, you know, 1, 2, 3, Veronica, 0. But even then, a 0 was released. Pardon me, it was changing. Because, yeah, I believe 4 was before 0. I can't remember. But, 4. Everybody classes 4 as the best one. Whereas, yeah, looking, uh, I don't even know. Thank you very much for the follow, Neto. Um, four was more of an action game than a horror game. Don't get us wrong, I love Resident Evil 4. Um, it's an excellent game. Um, but you've got the likes of... I don't know. When they went into Resident Evil 5, I love Resident Evil 5 as well. The co-op on Resident Evil 5 was... My eyes, that was one of the most perfect parts of co-op gameplay you could ever have in a game. It was amazing. I loved it. But when you're hitting the likes of Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 6 was fun to play co-op. But stressing, it was a terrible game. It was very much thrown together in the hope that they could pull as many fans as possible and because you were pulling as many fans as possible it was i don't know they failed in every single way chris's campaign turned into a piss poor you know, pretty much operation raccoon city clone um yeah, it, it was. It, it had some bits. I like Leon's campaign. And I'm 
I'm very twitchy about Resident Evil 6 because I paid good money for the first... Uh, because I could bought a digital download on PlayStation Network. <laughs> you can ask Badger how many times I've played 4 and 5. Um, no, uh, I paid first day of Resident Evil 6 digital download, uh, PlayStation Network store, and it broke instantly the day one patch wrecked it and i've two o'clock in the morning when i was re-downloading resident evil 6 because i wanted to play it first and i was not impressed is all i'll say Thank you very much for the follow, Cameronzo. <laughs> but yeah, the the campaigns of Resident Evil Six were just you had the poor Operation Raccoon City and Operation Raccoon City it wasn't great, even though it was based off the SOCOM confrontation engine. Really, uh, the just Resident Evil did with Slant Six doing it. Um, you had the likes of. Chris's campaign turned into so calm, whereas Leon's was a bit more. Yeah, Resident Evil was uh, a bit more. Sorry, Leon's Resident Evil campaign was a bit more Resident Evil 2, but built on the Resident Evil 5 engine. So the problem I had was to trying to do too much with Resident Evil 6, and every single time you stepped over a dead zombie body, you were falling over, which just killed you, it destroyed you. As he goes limpy, limpy. Just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. You said I don't think anything's ever gonna beat Resident Evil 2. If you get a chance, try to just the amount of different game players that they put in. For I mean, you had the two campaigns. Yeah. One, two, and three. If the remade two in Resident Evil, like the RE remake setup, then I'd be happy. I can very much see what they're gonna do is they're gonna throw forward all the other Resident Evils, and then we're gonna see two and three come out around the same, like six month line ish, but remade. So you're gonna get Resident Evil two gets a huge. Uh, sales and as soon as that starts dying off they're going to hit with Resident Evil 3 and I mean it's people like me who live stream things like that will be really happy um, and we'll end up streaming giving them a lot of advertising etc I really enjoyed Snake Eater. The battle at the end against the Metal Gear was, uh, it wasn't even the end boss. It was the Metal Gear where you're on the motorcycle and the sidecar. It just, it was awesome. So I think about that because um, I just sat and I smiled through the whole thing. But I played Snake Eater, the original Snake Eater. Um, I think I've just got it on normal difficulty. Bearing in mind, I, I didn't put on easy. I didn't want to put it on. Uh, <laughs> it was. I want to put on. I can't put it on extreme. I, yeah, look, and this is the first time I've played this in about four or five years. Um, so it's just kept on normal. We've got the radar in the corner, uh, but not. Savagely difficult. 
I'd rather play it for the experience than the difficulty, uh, to be honest. It's too good a game to, uh, no, waste time pissing and moaning about it being too hard. So I think that would be a fun one to actually mess around with with the live streamers. I do understand that uh, they threw up an English version of uh, Police Notes um, a couple of years back. There was a very, very big uh, translation setup. I do know I've got it somewhere, but I can't remember where. Oh, the music for Snake Eater was fantastic. I always remember climbing up that ladder. Uh, where the theme music played and it just whatever all i want from you it just went up and up and up i know everything about this whole base ask me or about this place also with this stealth camouflage i can oh it was that's so difficult uh, this is when games were actually proper games as well real games no way you didn't have to mess around with Oh, this is going to be so easy to blast through, or oh, we're not going to be able to do this. Bloodborne reminds of Bloodborne reminds of all that gaming. You had the likes where a bit more life on us, and we're actually playing again. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, um, Bloodborne with the difficulty reminded us of how. Is there the ration here? Nope. Oh, and then I'm heading out this way. I can't remember how I got the level, yeah, I did get the level 4 card. Um, yeah, Blood Bowl reminded us of the difficulty of all the games where you had to take your time. And you actually had to think about what you were doing. Or you had to be quite skilled. If I remember rightly, I go through here and I go up. Oh, Bollocks. Uh, where is it? Oh, go. And that's stun grenades. Bloodborne was it was a very very acquired taste. Um, I don't knock people who enjoyed watching Bloodborne. I I really enjoyed playing it, but it was a very very. It was difficult to kind of, not gauge, but everybody must have found it extremely awkward. Oh, the, the Shadow of Moses chapter on uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 was excellent. I loved that moment. It was the way where he was half asleep in the um, helicopter. And it dropped back, and it was the the graphics set of the startup of this. And have I still got chaff grenades out? Again, that's the night visions. I have to make a major dash here. Will I make it back? Ooh. Whoops. There we go. The don't. They really don't. Uh, 
this is this is a classic. You know, where you get the whole like Citizen Kane of films and Taxi Driver and things like that. This is a true classic. I try not to. It is. It is one of those games that I would class as a perfect game. And there's really, really not many of them. I'm loving the wiggle there. Yeah. Mantis was another one of those perfect moments. It was it was such a good boss. Was the whole series of Metal Gear Solid the the boss battles were just phenomenal? You know, I used to love the way that uh, they made an effort with them. What's that mark? It was like <laughs> I also like the way that if you actually change the clock on the PS2, you could. Uh, you can let him die of old age. himself in the face while I'm knocking things over. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Is that, I like it when you can do little different things throughout the games like that. I mean, once you've got like a game that it actually... No, you can... Not only can you break the fourth wall and stuff with them, but you can... You can do things that, that people don't think of. It's it's nice to see How are the negotiations going? them actually making the effort and things like that uh, so in the right. You, oh, excuse me, in the right. I got I got to stop drinking fizzy pop. Mm, pardon me. Oh, duh. Should be three keys. This is 
But the puzzle based around this card key. You know, how many games actually made the effort for that? And when you're looking back, this is PlayStation 1 era. You know, this is 99. No, release. It's... It's just the thought that went through. Oh, I could... It pains to say how much I love the PlayStation era because I used to love my Saturn as well. Um, I still have my uh, N64 and that. But certain games, I mean, just the whole film style of this game. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier, but I was wrong. It wasn't really. It just, it is. It's an absolutely phenomenal style of gaming. Yeah. They really they don't do this kind of thing anymore, which is so horrible. Every game is trying to be so cinematic that they're losing the gameplay. I mean, I haven't played a huge amount on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, but even then, once we hit this, wait, I say this generation, last generation, the high def generation, like the Xbox, there was still, I mean, a lot of people knock things like Red Steel. I really enjoyed it. It was a game where you could actually fly with the gaming. And it was just so much fun. Exactly. No, nobody. <laughs> I'm 32 this year. And literally, when I started playing games, it was cassette tapes and a keyboard. <laughs> I always remember when we moved up from ZX Spectrum. But yeah, and it used to be monochrome. The background was all yellow. The characters were pretty much like a, an MS Paint sprite. And, you know, things like Target Renegade, things that paved the way for things like Streets of Rage and stuff like that. What? I'm waiting for the comment. <laughs> what? What is it? You see, it is. It's things like this. <laughs> what are you at? I know. That's what makes us smile about this. This is why I love this game so much. I can't actually remember where I'm going. Is Abba too busy sitting talking? I'm just gonna be point person. Let's go through all the level doors. There we go, level five. Like, exactly like I say, oh, if I can actually get out this door. So we've got a level six card needed. Cardboard box B. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was level six.
<laughs> so unfortunately, I'm using a brand new memory card tonight as well. So it's kind of... I'm not going to get any of the save reading things. Boob shot? No, I didn't either. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I haven't saved yet, actually. I don't usually remember what I'm supposed to be doing here, and I'm sure it's got something to do with coming behind here. Oh, cool, well, that's better. But it was it was never thought of for the whole changing controller parts and things. What's wrong? Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's psychomantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tunic is mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Let's cheat. See this this is just awesome fourth wall. <laughs> I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I do know they like to throw um, Mantis references in. Put your controller on the floor. Put your <laughs> It's this kind of thing. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but controllers on table, right? Like, 
<laughs> right beside us. I don't know, it's just, it's these silly things that just kind of make the game so much more fun. And now, it's a very good idea to swap ports. Ugh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm just gonna can by a chair now. Truly terrible at this game. I love the fact that they use the Hideo uh, setups to. Let you kind of read. I use a different gun. Ah. <laughs> no bother, Caronzo. Um, much appreciated for you sitting in. I'll catch you later, man. Take care.
Ouch. Hello, Mason. It's nice to see you at night. Or in the game. Oh. I don't think she's my taste. Oops. There we go. Thank you for the followers there, Hugo and Mason. Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. Why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi. Nah, don't worry, man. It's just one of those questions, man. Swap these controllers back around. Ah. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Perhaps so. But I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance space. I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. They're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. Same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. In the moment when thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other. It's like Darth Vader. <laughs> whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. 
kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> Bro. The same. You and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I caught. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. Now you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like <laughs> Ah, oh, he's a cool character, man. It's kind of nice. to know what death looks like any family he's a no. badass that's why is there anyone you like i've never been interested in anyone else's life so you are all alone just like mantis said um i think i'm gonna cut shortly uh <laughs> You're sad. controllers in the other port man you didn't know um no, I think I'll be uh, calling it for the night shortly as I'm at work tomorrow and it's oh, extra ration space. Oh, man. In reality, I think we're knocking a near on three hour point now. So I'm going to head through here. I think there's the next building. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. 
How do you know so much? I ride dogs. I'm a mushy. I'm a musher. I'll not. I'll take point. <laughs> because that got you so far last time. Right, I think I am going to do it right this time. Save it there. And I'm gonna call it. And I'll be back on tomorrow night to see how far I can get. So that's three hours complete. There we go. Oh, these, uh, these lovely quotes that she does. Of how everyone's character is just so... You know... Philosophical. Yep, yeah, I think I would like to say that. I've had an absolute blast tonight. Um, streaming for you guys. And I've completely ballsed up and done this again. Um, you've got the gear along the bottom of the screen for you there. Uh, I will do. I will uh, be more than happy to play through again. I can't remember actually how to knock this off, so I'm just going to pause it like that. Um, I say I'll be streaming again about eight o'clock tomorrow night. We'll see how much further we can do because I think I'll see about finishing this. I'll check something else out and then I'll probably flap on with Metal Gear 2 after that. Like Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, again, I had a blast. There's a lot of people in here that I've really enjoyed having a conversation with tonight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed doing this as much as I have. I'll say good night to you all. Thank you very much. Take care for Firepower Gaming, of course. Says Rich, saying good night to you all. Thank you very much. Ta-ra.